Hey everybody, Andy here, AK Montolio, and we're back for another round of Vintage Leagues playing five Golos, five color Golo shops, and we've won the die roll this time, so that's great. Just catching our breath after that last match. If you haven't watched, I uh, implore you to go back and watch round two. It was excellent. So we have played Weasel recently, and I believe they are actually playing five color shops or excuse me uh, or playing golo shops this hand is a little bit high risk so we've got six seven mana so i can actually play a golos and a sphere on the play i'm keeping it for sure now we can get wasted out of the game but i'm uh not going to mulligan this hand Play around Mind Break Trap to start. Let's go and take a look and see what we can find. And Bajinga. I think I'm probably just going to go and get... Uh, I mean, a Sag has a possibility. But I can't use it next turn. That's the issue. Telerian Academy is somewhat appealing. One, two, three... I think I just want to workshop. Perhaps there's merit to getting a, to going to get a, a saga there, but. Oh, humans. Okay. Wow. Okay. I didn't expect that. Well, I'm going to feel good about this. Because I'm going to attempt to cast a Karn here. And then I'm going to kill their mocks. And then I'm going to Wasteland them. Seems decent. I don't know if they're running Force of Will. Okay, they've just conceded. So, this, this should be a tough matchup. I mean, we had a very strong start there. There's no doubt about that. Um... But they do run Katakis, which are very difficult to beat. Statue is amazing, but it's going to be very hard to do. Three balls a dangerous card, but might be all right. Could run needle on quarters. Powder keg could be okay. Could be okay on two. They run the monkey that takes away the an artifact. Can't remember its name. But they're very high density of two casting cost spells. I, I could see that being all right, you know. I also think that um, what else here is not very good. I think this is very reasonable. They typically are running Path to Exile. At least the, the mono white version is. The human decks have made a bit of an uprising as um, Ravager Shops is no longer a thing. So Walking Ballista single-handedly invalidated that strategy. I'm going to mulligan that one. Much better. I like that a lot. Ooh, balance is pretty decent too. I like all of these cards, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I hate to do it, but I'm going to put the saga away.
hopefully balance can shore up uh shore up any deficiencies i have here thallium yeah that is about exactly where i thought they would go oh how interesting Look, I have a very strong pendant. I'm going to get wastelanded here, but I think that's okay. And what I'm going to do, oh, well, that doesn't work. Yeah, that doesn't work, unfortunately. I'm a little bit behind on mana, but I think this is okay, getting the soul ring into play here. I might have done that a little bit differently uh, in hindsight, but that's okay. Probably getting wastelanded here, but if it's a ghost quarter, we're going to feel good about ourselves because we have a mountain in our deck. This balance could shape up to be really decent here. Kataki? Well, Freebooter, that's a nice one. It's gonna get my balance. Good for them. I got absolutely ravaged by that card the other day. Uh, I took my only Oath of Druids in my hand and I died very quickly afterwards. It's a situation where I'm still reasonably stable. Now we're going to go cast Golos. I might just bounce the Golos back to my hand. Continue of getting incremental advantage for lands and I'll have to pay for my Tabernacle here. That can give something protection here, but I think that's all right. And we're hopefully gonna be able to take off with some Urza Sagas here shortly. Yeah, that's totally fine. Freebooter, yeah, that's nice. I like that. I mean, we're not out of the woods here yet, but I, I feel like, you know, what we have going on is pretty decent. Crucible would be very nice here, too. Oh, Emery. Well, I can cast Emery, but I don't think I'm going to do it right here. I mean, I certainly could anyways. kind of want to get my Sagas going, but... I'm going to go get a Saga. Like, I think I'm going to continue to play this game. Cat and Mouse here. Yeah, they can get me in the air for a couple every turn, but I should be able to take advantage of that. I'm going to play an Emery. Let's see what we hit. Well, we got some good cards. We got some good cards there. I think I'm going to continue to bounce my uh, Golos.
Yep. So they leave the man open for a uh, an STP or a popped exile. Yep. All very reasonable. They're going to get my tabernacle here. Which is a bit unfortunate, but that's the way she goes. What will be interesting here is to see if they actually have um, um, sorry I can't think of, I lost my train of thought so I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna pay one yes we'd like to prevent that not interested in wastelanding me eh they're after my saga here We will continue to play uh, Golos here, and I think what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go and get a Talarian Academy. And I think Emery is going to go and get... So what is worth killing here? They don't seem to have Lurus. I think I'm going to play a powder keg. Oh, I have to pay for Thalia here. I'm going to ship Thalia back to their hand. Like, I don't care if they kill Golos because I can keep recurring it with Emery. And if they kill Emery, awesome. Oh, smart. Okay, so they screwed me there, didn't they? We're going to just name Giver of Runes here. Not all was lost there. Now they're going to wasteland my tabernacle because they can, I suspect. Good news for us is, is that we have three Crucible of Worlds in the deck. Where this is bad is if they have something like a Palace Jailer. What I might do here is I might bounce Golos back if I'm given the opportunity and I might have to go and get an inventor's fair. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, they're starting to pile up on me here a little bit. Just casting off the top of their library now, which is very awkward for me. So I think I might be in trouble here now. Yeah. Well done by my opponent here to, to get to this situation for sure. Um... I think I can make a golem here. Hmm. 
I don't think Needle's doing much here. Okay, so why don't we try Emery again here? So what I think I'm going to do, I have to pay the extra mana, but I don't think it matters. We, ha we just have to get this powder keg going. I, I really want my balance back. I can bounce these two back to my hand incrementally when this thing is up to two. I mean, I don't know. It feels a bit, uh, a little bit suspect, but what can you do, right? Okay, well, let's try and overwhelm them with golems, guys. I don't think it's going to work because I think that that thing they just cast there is really going to start hurting me. Um, but I'm going to go get an Inventor's Fair here. Do I still have it in my deck? Oh, I don't have it in this deck. I'm thinking five uh, Golos uh, shops. So I don't have that option. But I do have Crucibles. I think this is just a, a reasonable spot to be in. We just got to be able to survive a couple turns here to be able to get this powder keg up. We do have time walk in our deck. So not the worst. Like, I don't even think balance is necessarily that good, but if they build it up to the point where... Okay, they're digging... They build it up to the point off the top of their library here where it becomes really problematic. Like we get one, two, three, four. Four one drops and there's currently, okay, there's another one drop. Yeah, maybe it's just one drops here. It's pretty powerful. Ooh, that's nice. That's real nice. Yep, they can blow up my uh, powder keg here. Let's see if they go for it. I'm probably dead if they do. I mean, it's going to take and a whole other turn is not likely to happen for me. But we'll see. I have a fairly significant army here. Like, we haven't even seen Kataki come down yet. One of the reasons I maybe should not be as proactive as I am with my Caracas so I can bounce at the end of turn if they cast one. Something to think about. I've been trailing so, so hard this last game. Like, they're going to deal me four damage here, putting me to six. They can likely alpha, likely alpha strike me here. I think they should kill my Powder Keg. But they still can get a substantial amount of damage through here. Um, even if they don't kill the powder keg. A crucible would be really nice off the top for us. A tinker would be really nice off the top. Even a sinks of the steel one, which we would tinker for, would be nice. We have a lot of good draws. Like we can we can hard cast a swings of the steel win. So my opponent's thinking about I mean they know they need to go for it here as best they can because um I'm recurring these powder kegs. The thing is they can't really get through a lot of damage here, so I think they need to decide what they're gonna blow up with their commando. I, I think they hit me for four in the air and blow up the powder keg. That seems like the most likely line to be good here, but so we're looking for uh I think time walk would be good. I think Crucible of the Worlds would be good, Tinker would be good, Sphinx of the Steel Wind would be good.
Okay, what are they going to do? Yes. As expected. Are they going to do it? Get the keg here? Yes, so they're going to kill the keg. So we got lots of good draws here. Ooh. That can get me ensnaring bridge. All right. I do have ensnaring bridge. Okay, well, I can start actually, can I actually do this right now? Doesn't seem the worst, does it? Green. Uh, red. Yeah. Well, let's see here. Do I want to do this or not? I think it's probably fine because he can't get through. Oh, Thalia. Pretty decent. Next turn, I'll blow up all their uh, one drops. I'm just going to have six here. I've made my play. They're off the top of their library, so it's not going to be easy for them. Oh, nice. That That's actually very interesting. They could have killed me there. If they kept their flyer, I, I, could, I would have died there. Because they put the uh, balance back in my hand.
Okay. Sorry about the lack of commentary here, guys. I'm I'm really uh, really struggling to keep up here with all these uh, triggers and different things we need to do. And should this go to a third game, I really need to focus on my uh, my lines here. Yeah. So they got the tab, and I'll just bring it back again. We'll just bring the tabby back. And what do we want to do here? I think we're going to crack the powder keg. Uh, what one drops get hit of mine? Just my Pithing Needle and Cathar Commando, and I think that's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm in a position here where we are vulnerable to a turn for doing that, but I think it's probably all right. We're just going to do it. Um, let's go in. What do we got for Karn here in our Karn board? Anything interesting? Yeah, I think we're just going to go and get um, Mycosynth Lattice. Just seems like a very reasonable thing to get. And we're going to try and shut them out here of the game. We're going to cast a Black Lotus. Mycosynth Lattice. Actually, we'll just do this. A lot better. And I think what I'm going to do is Emery, how much mana do I have left? Just a ton. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to powder keg here. And we'll cast a powder keg. And we will pass turn. They are uh, officially locked out of the game here. And we can just build ourselves back up now. We don't even need to do anything. These triggers are super slow. Oh my goodness. Yes, and we will just pay five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. How's that? Yeah. I'm really confused why this is not working here. I have no idea what happened here. Yeah, my, I'm asking my opponent why my, my tabernacle is killing my creatures here and I'm not able to pay for them. I don't know what happened. My opponent is not interested in communicating to me what happened there. So I'm going to just have to kill my tabernacle. It, it just doesn't matter. Just 
just kill their lands here. And we're building up to being able to just cast Gigantha here, which I'm going to do now. Um, and she should uh, close it out for us here. Um, doesn't even matter. Sorry about the ambient noise there, guys. Yeah, powder keg, we'll pump you up to three there. Um, I guess we'll make a golem. I'm not even paying attention at this stage in the game here. Uh, what do we get rid of at three? My crucibles go, but it doesn't really matter. Um, right, just ensnaring bridge and crucible gone. Let's uh, bring back another. Uh... Yeah, opponent concedes. Okay, a um, little bit sloppy there. Uh, frustrated uh, as I don't know what happened. There was a bug that we ran into with reference to uh our, our game there we were unable to pay for our tabernacle and there was no reason that we weren't able to um just glitched so uh all that said we we did get there